<laughs> if there is some wind here in Galtelli, the reeds actually. Ah. Ah. Okay, so uh, it's very nice because normally the islands. spectacular um, limestone mountain. Those of you interested in exploring the mountain more on a more serious hike want to go up here. It's a wonderful walk. Mm. Right after the bark is taken off, um, the tree is spectacular. I told La Ginestra. The point. So you can look it up. Ginestra in Italian. Ginestra. Oh, Gors is Ginestra. I mean, Ginestra is kind of a generic name. So ah. In central Italy, at points, you just see these huge patches. Of yellow? Yeah. Just those hills, the hills on the Apennines. Uh, it's not a uh, 2,000 meter, uh -huh. but <laughs> <laughs> you'll see for yourself. No, that is Mediterranean plant. That one is a ficus. So it's just a cave. It used to be a dwelling, a home, Domus de Llanas. Yeah, they do, they do. So this is a country church. When this was built, the town was much smaller, and it is devoted to uh, San Giovanni, St. John the Evangelist. Uh, is, um, it, needs, it needs some work, and uh, now it's closed for winter, and they are taking care of it. I have thought of the second Troy some little prized place in Avignon. He won the lady, stole her away for himself, kept her against armed force. So ends that story. At 7 p.m. there will be another singing and performance event for one half hour at another church. of sensual input so that you're not looking for big words and then the poem that I'm hoping that you'll write will be connected to the very particular sensual um, sensual intake that you're processing what you smell what you see what you hear what you feel <laughs> I will send you a letter. She offered it. It's a graveyard.
Ah, stop, stop. Oh, no. stop. Ah.